This is Into the Multiverse with Josh Peck. Hello and welcome to Into the Multiverse. I am your host, Josh Peck. Today we're going to be talking about the human eye uh, and how it could actually have the capability to destroy everything we know about physics. It just depends on how you look at it, uh, no pun intended. If you haven't had a chance to do so, make sure you subscribe. And uh, if YouTube still doesn't notify you, you got to click the bell too. If YouTube still doesn't notify you, just know that every Thursday at 9 a.m. Central, you will get a new episode of Into the Multiverse. So at the very edge of human perception, lies our eyes' ability to perceive a single photon of light. Now, physicists believe that this amazing feat could be a catalyst to solve some of our universe's uh, biggest mysteries. For example, what, what is the universe made of? And why are we here? You know, physicists have those questions too. Now, it's different for us Christians. While we don't, we don't know or have all the answers, we know the source of the answers, God himself. And quantum physics typically comes at these mysteries from a different direction. But as we show consistently on this show, Materialistic science is only one side of the coin. So, for example, one popular scientific theory that addresses both questions of what the universe is made of and why we're here is called quantum mechanics. Uh, it insists that the universe operates on a basis of uncertainty that relies on observation and measurement to determine reality. It then follows that if the universe is made up of those phenomena that are uncertain and those that can measure them, uh, humans would fall neatly into the latter category. If quantum mechanics turns out to be correct, this could be interpreted to mean our purpose in the universe is simply to behold the beauty around us so it can become a reality. And again, that is from a scientific standpoint, not from a Christian standpoint, but this is the way that physicists think about this stuff. Now in this version of the universe, if you were to shine a single photon of light into somebody's eye, they wouldn't necessarily see it, but they would sort of sense it. Alipasha Vizari, a physicist at the Rockefeller University in New York City, who both conducted and participated in experiments involving doing just that, uh, told Nature, quote, the most amazing thing is that it's not like seeing light. It's almost a feeling at the threshold of, imagina of imagination, uh, end quote. And theoretically, if you were to entangle that photon of light with another and then shine the photon at a person's eye, they should not be able to perceive a difference. Now, this is because for quantum mechanics to work as a theory, it has to explain everything that happens, including why we don't usually perceive quantum phenomena. You know, we trust that quantum phenomena happens and that we don't have to work too hard to observe it. Now, if we start seeing the collapse of quantum waves happening all around us, it could take up to it could take up too much bandwidth in our consciousness. You could think about it like that. So weird as it sounds for quantum mechanics theory to to, to work, it needs to happen in the background, sort of like a source code. Now, in another version of, of the universe, in another version of, of a scientific way to look at the universe, the observer effect is a mere side effect of reality, and quantum mechanics doesn't have all the answers. So basically, if quantum theory is wrong, then it doesn't matter whether observation or measurement occurs. What will be, will be. And here, if you were to shine a single photon in Vasari's eye again, he'd sense it the same way. But if you entangled a photon and then beamed it uh, into his eye, he'd perceive something different. This would be potentially catastrophic for quantum mechanics. Now, Paul, Paul Quate, a uh, physicist at University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, uh, conducting similar experience, uh, experiments to Vasari's team, told Scientific American, quote, if you trust quantum mechanics, then there should be no difference. That would be a quite earth-shattering result. So according to the experts, a single photon should appear the same to the naked eye, whether it's entangled or not, because we've always been able to see photons. We've just never had a way to determine whether they were entangled or not before now. Now, as research continues and physicists prepare to conduct further experiments, the, cons the consensus hypothesis seems to be that humans won't perceive a difference. Still, until that's proven, the questions loom large over the entire field. It's worth keeping in mind that there are numerous alternative theories to quantum mechanics. 
And furthermore, that not being able to detect entanglement with the human eye doesn't actually indicate that quantum mechanics is uh, correct. But as evidence continues to pile up for it, quantum mechanics remains the pervasive working theory to explain how our universe works. But remember, quantum mechanics is only one side of the coin that does not typically deal with supernatural reality. So if you start seeing glitches in the matrix, you're either seeing potential proof that quantum mechanics is wrong or you're seeing evidence of the completely mysterious spiritual reality existing alongside our own yet sustained from the same creator, the, the God Yahweh of the Bible. Now I'd love to know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. And also don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. If YouTube doesn't notify you, just know that every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Central, you will get a new episode of Into the Multiverse. All right, thank you all, and until next time, take care and God bless. If Donald Trump's election was an earthquake, his accomplishments since are the aftershocks the world never saw coming. Even while President Trump has had to war against dark forces who aim to obstruct and ultimately impeach him, his seismic impact on culture and faith in America is undeniable. Skywatch TV is proud to announce the Trump Aftershock special offer, featuring the new book by best-selling author Stephen E. Strang, Trump Aftershock. In Trump Aftershock, you'll learn how Trump's agenda aims to combat the media's fake news war with the president, address the surge of illegal immigration, expose the deep state and the agenda of former President Obama, strengthen ties with Israel, find lasting peace in the Middle East, and so much more. When you purchase Trump Aftershock from the Skywatch TV store, you'll also receive God and Donald Trump by Stephen E. Strang. The 2016 presidential election was perhaps the biggest political upset in American history and still has many Christians and Americans contemplating the possibility of a divine connection between God and Donald Trump. Now you can understand the answer to that question and so much more in the must-read book that reaches far beyond politics and into the redeeming frequencies that America surely needs in God and Donald Trump. Sold separately, these items hold a retail value of $44. Yours now for your donation of only $30 plus shipping and handling. These two books will cut through the media noise and reveal what they won't cover, while objectively helping you understand what our nation's most unlikely and unconventional president has accomplished thus far and what you can expect looking forward. The Trump Aftershock Special Offer, available now at the Skywatch TV store. Order online or call 1-844-750-4985.